Okay, so in this case, I need a seven inch wide for the edge. So I usually just hold my hand here as a guide on seven inches and just watch the edge where my hand is guiding and then just mark it so I get a nice straight line. And then cutting it, notice I, mac I marked the back side so that when it breaks out, we get this natural look. So cutting it, I'm just going to gently but firmly go down through and out. It's better to go on that side of the line and then come over and mark it get it closer because sometimes if you try to get it all in one shot it breaks away too much you don't get it you get some waste and that's not good so sometimes just kind of chipping working away see our nice natural edge there so that's real good now on the other ones I need I made some patterns a few years ago and we have we have this one gives you the honeycomb I think this one's about the same for some reason I have two this one's a different pattern then we have a rounded pattern now I did do some other patterns well here's another one right here actually the one I'm going to do right now this is the one that's mainly on our roof I think it's a two uh, two inch by three inch or something like that so what I'm going to do is lay it on the back side here just take a nail get it even mark it and then I will gently cut these off and we'll have our, again, come over here and then come next to the line. Sometimes it will break off and then if you, you ruin the piece. Sometimes I even cut it off and then work my way over. It kind of tells you how that piece of slate's going to cut because it depends on the, the grain as to how it, nicely it's going to cut. Oh, and often I mark my pattern with a big X so I don't end up using my pattern and then gradually don't have a good pattern. So that's pretty much all for cutting. Certain colors cut different than other colors, so you'll find out.